hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is queen and nikki today i want to show you how to do kokoro alate or patewo wonu ola please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and give a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video you can also leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any health style you want me to do the tutorial on you can leave a comment today i want to do patewo wonu ola Please make sure you watch the tutorial from the beginning to the end. So make sure you achieve this hairstyle on a clean hair and and after after that you begin to part the hair just the way I'm doing it. So you part the hair into three section parts. So the first one make sure you achieve V then you see you start from the left then you cross your hand to the left for you to achieve the v part after that from that v point you divide the remaining one into two equal equal so now you 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 achieve three session parts and you just see this is how it will look like you parted it into three parts this is how it will look like please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video this video is actually for Wombin's concepts she asked me to do but I will know a lot tutorial so Wombin's concepts wherever you are the video is for you so watch the video from the beginning to the end so back to the tutorial for the day can you just see you pick your comb and you start sessioning the hair we're ready for the tutorial please pay attention and watch carefully can you just see this is sleeping diddy and is another else type of sleeping diddy is called Patewo, Wonu Ola, or you can call it Kokoro Alate. So you use sleeping method to achieve this X tie. Just for you to watch the video from the beginning to the end. So now you keep going with the with the L tie. You keep going with the L tie. Can you just see? You keep going with the L style. Yeah. So when you finish the first one, you you pass another one, then you begin to do the sleeping DD just the way I'm doing it. Make sure you hold it firm and it's not too tight. Please, I keep saying it in all my videos. Don't make the hair too tight. But just make sure you hold it firm. Can you just see the sleeping diddy method? So if you don't really know how to do sleeping diddy, please go and watch my first tutorial video on how to do sleeping diddy. Go and watch it. I believe you guys will love the outcome of this L style. So you keep going with the L style. You keep going and this is the this is the third part I'm doing the first one the tip you keep it aside can you just see then I have another one left plus the one I'm doing makes it three you keep that first one then the second one you matted it together with this third one that I'm doing right now can you just see the way i'm crossing it then you braid it together but make sure you leave the first one then you cross you match the second one with the third one can you just see and this is how it will look like so you continue with the process just the way i'm doing it then make sure you arrange it well so that the one will not be more longer than each other so make sure 
you arrange the the tip very well before you finish the braiding and that is how you keep going with the one wala patewo or kokoro alate and you just see the way i'm crossing my hand just for me to achieve the the crossing parts can you just see don't make it too tight that is how you keep going can you just see just look the way i'm crossing my hand then i'm using my hand to arrange it well to make it equal that is how you keep going with the L style just pay attention and you guys will love the outcome so I'm done with the first part I want to enter the second part can you just see this is one left from the one the first one I have one tip that I keep aside so now I want to begin with the other one you cross it like this just can you just see there must be a brush in this style the first one you are doing there must be a brush and there must be the hairstyle will be more bold than the remaining one the first one you are doing you are doing it just like three rows can you just see make sure the hair is not too tight hold it firm and that is how you keep going that is how you keep going with the L style. Don't make it too tight. I keep saying it in all my videos because we have different kind of air texture and we have different kind of score and scalp. So can you just see the way I'm crossing this particular one? So make sure you arrange it well before you braid it together with the the left one. Can you just see? And this is how you achieve your Wonuola style. You keep going. Just the way I'm doing it. I know to some people you you like oh no. Can you just see this is the outcome of the one I've done so far? And can you guys just see the hairstyle so lovely and nice? Wow, this is lovely. Can you just see? So I'm done with this one too. Then you begin with the third part, and that is what I'm doing right now. You hold it firm. So the first one that has you guys to leave, that is the one you are matting together with the the third part right now. Can you just see? So that is the reason why you have to leave the first one so that you're able to mat it with the third section. Can you just see? So that is how you begin to do your wonuola. You repeat the whole process to the whole hair round. And can you guys just see we are almost done with the L style. It's just two left. So you comp it very well to make it soft for you to do the DD on. Can you just see? so lovely it's so lovely and it is nice you can also wear wig with it too 
yes you can wear wig only if your wig is not full but if you if you are the type that wear full wig so you can use this L style to wear wig so that is how you keep going with the L style can you guys see the L style so lovely yeah and this is the last part of the L style you'll see the way I'm crossing my hand to achieve the one other aspect so just have to be very careful while you are crossing the one other and you need to arrange it with your hand to make it well arranged and we are done with our pate wall else tie so you guys this particular one i want to show you here i want to show you in case you you apply attachment to make the one wala so you know the last one will be more longer that is why i'm showing you this aspect for you to know how to do the finishing of the l style so you braid the last one with attachment just the way i'm doing it then you repeat the same thing on the other side and this is the two left now i want to use that one to you use it to you cross it inside inside the one ola you cross from your left to your right and from your right to your left just watch carefully and see what i'm doing here so you cross it inside the one all the way from the beginning to the other side from your right to left and from left to right and make sure the the braid aspect is more longer so that the attachment will come from the left all the way to the right so you need to make it longer just pay attention and see what i'm doing here so you arrange it very well so you are using this braid to secure the one wala as well can you just see and in case you guys do not use attachments to make the hair so you don't have to stress yourself just to wrap the remaining one with the last part you wrap it together you can use this um you can use pin to secure it or you can tie it so this one i'm doing here right now i'm tying it then you trim the excess one away now you want to cross from the right to the left you repeat the same method to the else tie 